Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, I want to show you a handy little trick that will save you a lot of time while typing on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So no matter how much you like the on-screen keyboard on iOS devices, it's definitely harder to type on them than it is on a real physical keyboard. And when you have long phrases like maybe your email address or common things that you say in email messages or tweets, um, it can be nice maybe to have a way to substitute something shorter, a little shortcut that will insert that longer text for you. Well, there is a way to do this. There's a setting called keyboard shortcuts inside of your general settings on any iOS device. And there you can set a small set of characters to expand to be a larger phrase. Let's take a look. So for instance here, say I'm sending a tweet and I want to include the full URL to my website. It is quite a few characters and it takes me a little while to type. So there's got to be an easier way to do it. So to create a keyboard shortcut I would go into Settings and under Settings I would go to General and then I would go down to Keyboard at the bottom here I've got shortcuts and there's add new shortcut. I'll do that and I will set the whole phrase and then give it a shortcut. So it's got to be something I wouldn't accidentally type in a word so 2Ms isn't going to do it. I can do mm period. Uh, maybe I can do HMM like that and that's something that would not appear in a regular word. Then I'll hit save. Now back here in Twitter I'll try typing HMM and you can see it automatically will expand to have whatever phrase it is I put in there. So it's important not to use letter combinations that could be misinterpreted. For instance, if I wanted to have a short version of my name, I could use GR and it would expand to Gary Rosenzweig. But if one day I wanted to express frustration and say grr and put GR, it would expand into my name. So I may be better off using something like XGR, something I would never type. So there are tons of uses for this, from sending your email address or account IDs in there to actually having longer phrases, whole sentences uh, that you can use in email responses. It can really cut down a lot of time and make using iOS devices a little bit less frustrating. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.